This is when I'm ready, when I want to do it. So it goes back into women wanting that control, wanting to take advantage, wanting to lead, wanting to be the real alphas, right? And you're not going to get anywhere with that. You're not. These types of females out here that want to be in control of every single thing and the man that they are with, there is no business of you trying to fix her to be a feminine female. Absolutely not. It's not your job because realistically, there's still something going on with her that is not allowing her to be that way. And she's going to be the only one to find it. Find God. <laughs> boss baddies and my bad man fellas it is your girl bosana and welcome be boss army so as you guys can tell by the title today we're going to be talking about three signs that she's taking you for a fool so with this topic i'm going to tell you maybe there's something that i tell you today that will make you be like oh damn i've been getting taken for a fool this whole time so with these things that i'm going to tell you Hopefully, you're not going through it, but I do want to give you guys a warning. I'm sure there's a lot of guys going through this because I've already heard it most of the time, seen it in my comments, okay? So with that being said, make sure you check out my other YouTube channels. I have two, just created a new one and have a video coming very, very soon on there. So make sure you check that out. And for those who have already been supporting me, show love to my Instagram, my Patreon. I want to just say thank you so much. And for all of you guys that are subscribed to this channel, thank you so much. You guys always keep me going. And honestly, I would definitely not be be here if it wasn't for you guys so thank you thank you so much and last thing i know it's just like girl get to the video but last thing i want to just appreciate those people that i always see in my comments and there's just people that i always see always commenting and i just want to say thank you like the support is unreal and definitely hitting 50k was a big accomplishment so thank you to everybody that got me to that point and thank you for all those who keep supporting me so number three is wants you to pay for her and someone else now i do have some points written down i'm gonna get into that in a second but i just want you guys to hear this explanation of why she thinks you're a fool for this when a woman takes you as a joke when a woman doesn't take you serious when a woman looks at you and feels like you're just like another guy when a woman just feels like oh he's just whatever and now i can go on for days but all these things are gonna of course be and you probably know since my videos are all about this sometimes but it's all about you being a simp to her. So most times a woman will take you for a fool for that exact reason. You know, all the things that you are missing to be an alpha male, it's the reason why she starts taking you for a fool. This number three thing that I have written down, her looking at you, this is how she looks at you. You are gonna be her bank. When women start talking to a man and they aren't taking them serious, they're taking them for a fool, right? They're taking them as for a joke. When that happens right then and there, they're automatically thinking of, okay, what can I get from this guy? Because the way you have to look at it is if a woman is looking at you and seeing less than maybe what you feel. I know sometimes you guys may have like low self-esteem and feel low about yourself, but that woman will see way less lower. What you feel, what you show outside, the low self-esteem, the low vibration, all that stuff, that stuff she knows. She feels it and she can just sense it and not every woman can, but if they can't, what they'll just do, have an idea from just reading what you say to them, from the way you simp to them. So now you set yourself up because automatically she's in her mind thinking of a provider and this is by nature women by nature want a provider and then wanting a provider her looking at you now is like knowing that you're a simp how am i going to benefit from you and then how is someone else that i know is going to benefit from you and these are the girls that are more of the extreme girls these are the girls that oh they made some money from you or they know they can make money from you and automatically is straight to getting that materialistic thing or money when she feels like you are a fool when she doesn't care about you when you're just nothing to her she is gonna try things out that's gonna literally test you and in return she's gonna get what she wants basically you're gonna pass the test but you're gonna pass the test for her so when you pass the test when she tries you she thinks you are a fool she's gonna try these things on you exactly like number three and when she tries this she's gonna expect you to pass the test and you passing the test is gonna be you giving it up giving that money paying for that paying for this all of that so the first example that i have is gonna be her friends and excuse any noise in the background sorry about that but it's not too loud i think but as i was saying it's gonna be her friend for the first thing what a lot of women out here tend to do is that they have their best friend right 
and them having that best friend it's almost like let's compete not against each other this time although women compete against each other this is probably one of the one times there's probably more examples but maybe not but this is going to be the one time that girls don't be like mm, i look better or i could do a little bit better things like that right competing against each other but this is going to be the one time girls are going to be on the same side okay and them being on the same side they're going to be like okay we're going to see how we can get this guy to do this for us we're gonna see what we can get from this guy. So because of that right there, it's almost like it's a competition for both of them at the end of the day to still say, I got more guys or I got that guy to do this, literally. So her right then and there, she's gonna be like, okay, girl, I have this guy that I'm talking to, right? Me talking to this guy, I know he's gonna do this, do that, right? And to be real with you guys, I'm not scared to share this shit because at the end of the day, People will love you, people will hate you, but you always gotta keep it real. That's how I see it, okay? But as I was saying, I had moments where I was at the club and I was like with my best friends. Best friends, yeah, I used to be in a group of girls and now everything's changed. Like literally, I have like no friends, no girlfriends for real, like everything's changed. But I remember I would go to the club and if a guy wanted to buy me a drink, it was always, you gotta buy me and my friend a drink, right? And there was a lot of guys that were willing to do it. So because of that right there, it's just like, I clearly took that guy for a fool because in my opinion, I was feeling like that guy was willing to do that. And also with that being said right there, if you guys would like some story times, let me know down below because I love talking clearly and I can give you guys amazing story times and help you guys understand a lot more situations. Back to a friend, her and her friend are kind of just going to be getting this man to benefit, taking her out on a date. When a girl is not into you, when she doesn't want you and she takes you for a fool, what she's going to do is try to benefit from you. So her trying to benefit from you, what's going to happen is her best friend is going to have to be included. Now that her best friend is going to be included, it's going to be like, if you want to pay for me, you have to pay for her. And it's going to be a package deal, but you'll never ever benefit from them. You won't ever get a package deal delivered to you, but it's always going to be the delivery has to be brought to them. So they're going to expect you to pay for their dates and it's going to be dates as in oh she comes along oh she needs money for that and to go home or to go to her next date or her next appointment right so now that happening right there it's like you have to pay for her and someone else now because i don't want this video to be too long i can keep talking but i hope you guys got that point right there my next example is family it's not always gonna just be her and i say her as in her like girls get to a point of they get so close with the girl and they're thinking automatically it's me and her it's me and my sis it's me and my girl a lot of times it's not just her it's literally her and her so it's like the girl you're talking to and her and it becomes a package deal i hope that makes sense okay don't let it go over your head but anyways as i was saying family family the only exception is and this is not always an exception but this happens to happen is that a lot of families out here and you guys might know from like you know families that have really strict religions and really strict things that they follow by and how things have to be done and so families that and i'll give you a good example even my family i'm african this is what i've heard but like you know things have changed just to give you an example it's more of when you marry me, okay, you you got to pay up with cows because cows back home is valuable, right? And then there's other things that you have to do as well, which I'm not going to get into. But that's how it has to work because parents are going to benefit, right? And also, with that being said, you have to pay basically for the daughter, right? So with that being said, if I wanted, and let's say I was back home, I wanted a man. He's not just going to be able to get me. It has to be done in a way where you are going to be paying up to my family. So that right there is a great example of why some people, some girls out here, they can't just, you know, have you as a boyfriend or have you as somebody that she's talking to. It can't be that way because her religion, if she's actually following by her religion, she's actually about her religion. She has to follow by those rules. Those are normally the only time it's going to be an exception. I don't know how many people are going through that that are watching my videos, but most definitely it's going to be the only exception. There's probably a few other things, but that's the first thing I think of, okay? As I was saying, back to family, there's going to be girls out here that, of course, back to saying sis, there's girls that are going to always look at their best friend as a sister. Therefore, if I'm benefiting, my sister has to benefit. If you're going to treat me good, you have to treat my sister good. It's like I said, it's going to be a package deal. And there's also going to be other family members too. It's not just going to be sisters, but 
or sister but it just means that you have to be careful because when people are giving you that sob story when she's trying to tell you oh well i'm just this and i'm just that and she needs it too or you want me then you have to do that for her then obviously she's trying to take advantage of you but she's not only trying to benefit from you she wants her friend to benefit because it's a game for them it's like okay let's see how much we can get from a man so that goes to show how much she's taking you for a fool okay you guys so i obviously have more to say i literally have okay i'll say this last thing because i know some of you guys don't care how much i explain things but through texting prime example through texting she's gonna tell you the first day oh my best friend has to come oh first day i don't feel comfortable with just you most times it's not because oh she doesn't feel comfortable with you most times it's because oh no i'm gonna benefit from you and i'm not gonna go on a date with you because i take you for a fool i take you for a fool and i'm not gonna go on a date with just you because why would i do that if i know you are a fool that's gonna pay for me and my best friend me and my sister you get what i'm saying so most definitely be careful of those fellas out here you got girls trying to convince you to pay for her and somebody else bad enough you guys are just paying for her but paying for somebody else too that's how much these girls be thinking you guys are real fools out here. And please, maybe you fell for it in the past, but don't let it happen again, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to number two. Number two is keep canceling and postponing plans. Now, this can mainly apply in the beginning when you first start talking to a female, but it still can apply later down the lines because what just happened in the beginning can still happen at the end or middle part. Or basically postponing everything is because I got somebody or something else better to do. That literally just means that you're not important enough and I'm gonna keep doing this because you are a fool that's still gonna wait around until I say I'm ready. And that's the part you have to take in from this video. There's a lot of things that you can still take in, but this is so important. This is when I'm ready, when I wanna do it. So it goes back into women wanting that control, wanting to take advantage, wanting to lead, wanting to be the real alphas, right? And you're not gonna get anywhere with that. You're not. These types of females out here that want to be in control of every single thing and the man that they are with, there is no business of you trying to fix her to be a feminine female. Absolutely not. It's not your job because realistically, there's still something going on with her that is not allowing her to be that way. And she's going to be the only one to find it. Find God. Amen to that. But as I was saying, to basically wrap that part up is that you guys dealing with these girls that literally want you, like I just said, to just do things when she's ready, when she's up for it, when she's down for it, when she's going to be doing nothing else with the other guy. And the other guy is her main guy. But that guy doesn't have time for her because he's such an alpha. And not every alpha does this, but he's such an alpha. But he has so many other girls and he's focused on other girls. It's not just her. But she doesn't have just him. And then she has you. And then what she does is fall back to you. Because she doesn't have him. And him, he's dealing with them. And those are them of the girls, of the girls that are sides. You get what I'm saying? I hope that made sense. I know it could get a little confusing. But just keep following me. Because I'm trying to explain to you that there is going to be girls that will treat these simps like shit. But they're going to have guys that are alphas that will treat them like bigger shits said it period it's important for you guys to know that and you know it is what it is this is how it goes this is life right this is literally life for you guys so to wrap up number two for you guys she's gonna keep canceling in the beginning aspect of your relationship or let's just say when you first meet even if you guys haven't had a first date it's just gonna be like i can't i can't i won't right now or i'm busy and the one of the biggest things is going to be i'm busy with family that's one of the biggest things and i actually also talk about it down the line again but i'm just going to mention it now that hitting you up with the busy with family is one of the best strategies that females can do out here because it's simply telling you i'm gonna be busy and i'm gonna lie to you and you're gonna believe this because it's family that's what it is and last thing postponing there's a lot of girls out here that they'll find a time where they're desperate for another man which is gonna be the simp she's so desperate for a man and the only man that she can get in that moment is the simp so she keeps postponing and then the day that it comes where she's desperate for a man, she'll tell you, oh, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to see you. Okay. And then last thing, when it gets down to your relationship, first it's going to start postponing realistically. And then she's going to cancel. And then after that, she's just going to disappear out of your life. Her feelings are losing. And it's just going to be like one day she's out. 
just like that the last thing on my list and this is hits you with excuses unexpectedly and then i have some examples so hits you with excuses unexpectedly this does go back to in the beginning stages so if a girl and it does go back to postponing and canceling there's gonna be things that girls will lie about when they feel like you are gonna believe it when they feel like you're gullible when they feel like you are a fool they're gonna straight up tell you this and what's unfortunate is that a lot of guys will really believe it so they do take you for a fool and they'll say it to you and they just expect you to pass the test and go ahead and say yes to it and you don't do that fellas please don't do that it's an absolute not even giving my time don't even answer it with a no but matter of fact answer with i'm not gonna say nothing to her and i'm out i'm by i'm ghosting i'm deuces period okay so with that i'm not gonna say too much about it because this video is already long enough but basically first example is falls asleep the next day you're talking to a girl she'll tell you oh i fell asleep oh i was busy so it could either be that she was doing something with the next guy or it's because she just didn't want to talk to you. She was bored of you, right? When <laughs> she was on FaceTime with somebody else all night and it wasn't you. So go ahead, fellas. Let this soak in. Fortunately, I know a lot of guys is going to go through this or went through this. And I'm telling you guys, it doesn't even matter that that happened. It's just a matter of are you going to go through it again? And that is going to be no, absolutely not. And so the last example that I have is busy with family. I told you guys I was going to mention family again. And this is a big excuse that girls will tell you through text. Oh, I'm going to be busy with family. Oh, I can't see you. And even down in your relationship when she starts losing interest or even the not, <laughs> it's a relationship, but there's not a title. Even that, she'll still tell you, oh, I'm so busy with family. Meanwhile, it's going to be another guy or it's going to be her best friend or sis or whatever. And they're just doing their own thing and they're not concerned about you because they take you for a fool okay so i really hope this video helped you guys out and like i always tell you guys i can talk for days maybe i'll start doing lives or something but yeah just i feel like i can't always get everything out on here because i don't want my video to be too long and i don't want my videos to of course be too short and i want to get everything out where i can explain to you guys in a way you can understand okay so i hope you guys like this and if you did make sure you give me a big thumbs up for a quicker video to come up make sure you follow me on my social media make sure you check out my patreon and of course make sure you check out my other youtube channels and you guys will see me in my next video bye you guys